So I already went ahead and applied my lightest foundation and when you do that I applied it to my neck and now I'm contouring my face to make it really in depth and like I'm really really super skinny and haven't eaten in like a few years basically. Oh, I'm so sick. And I'm also contouring the jawline of my face to make it more sculpted and nice and more like more focused on my face basically. Now going in with a pink eyeshadow, I'm just going to apply that to the top of the contour to just blend those two colors together. Repeat to the other side. Now taking the same color that I used for my face, I'm just going to apply that to the sides of my face going up to the forehead, the side of my eyes actually, going up to my forehead. And then while I'm doing that, when I'm finished, I'm also going to do it to the other side, which is more closer to the front of my eyebrows, going up to my forehead. And then repeat to the other side. Going in with the blue eyeshadow, I'm going to put it to the middle of my eyelids, going up to my forehead to the same way. And repeat to the other eye. Now using a dark pencil eyeliner in the color of black, I'm going to be sculpting a cat eye shape, but I'm going to use it to fill my, all, my whole entire lid. And you guys, this is where I messed up and I kind of went to up. Like, I went above my crease when I wasn't supposed to, so just keep this on your lid. Now I'm just taking that same pencil and just going to be adding spikes and spikes to the wig eyeliner. And then now I'm taking my pencil and I'm adding a crease. Like, Creased my eye. And then a beat to the other eye, too. Now, taking a black eyeshadow, I'm just gonna fill in the whole entire area that I mapped out with the cat eyeliner shape. And this is where you guys can see that I went too far up with the cat eyeliner when I wasn't supposed to. So, next time, just like Put it on your lid only. I kind of went too far on my crease, as you guys can see. Now I'm taking a wing eyeliner. Oh, I'm so sorry, taking a wing eyeliner. I'm taking a liquid eyeliner. I'm going to be sharpening up those edges of the wings, I think. Well, anyways, taking a white eyeliner, I'm going to be applying it to my tear duct area only, my inner corner of my eye. Sorry if I'm sniffling, I'm really sick. And then going in with the same pink eyeshadow, I'm taking it on an angle fluffy brush. I'm just going to be applying that under my eye. Like so. Taking a liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to be like lining the inner corner of my eye and connecting that line to the cat eyeshadow, I think. I'm so sorry if I'm doing this makeup wrong. It's because I barely found out about Ivara like two, three days ago by Diamond. And after watching the movie, I was like, obsessed with her. And I was like, I need to like do a tutorial for her for Halloween. That's what I did. Going with the same liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to be applying to the top and connecting it down to the bottom. Like that. Taking the black eyeliner, I'm just going to create her signature mole on the right. All right side of my face. Taking the same black eyeliner, I'm just going to be lining my bottom waterline. Going in with the brown, I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows really sloppy because the bangs are going to cover it anyways. Or as I thought. Taking some eyelashes, or I had to take it there, some eyelashes. Go ahead and just apply them. 
See, this is where you guys can see my Catalaner was like too far out. I went too far up. Can you guys see my Catalaner? It looks my cat eye shadow. Like, I went too far. Like, I did it too much. So just don't mind that. Taking a black eyeliner, I'm just gonna be outlining the outside of my lips in black. Taking a red lipstick by the Lady Gaga Matte Collection, I'm just gonna be applying that to the lips, blending it in with the black eyeliner. And I'm gonna be taking on a brush to fill it in and get the areas that I couldn't get earlier due to the lipstick. I'm just gonna be contouring my nose just because. Now for the hair, um, take all your hair and just put it in a wig cap and you know, just bobby pin it up. Now we now we bobby pin the hair up. Now we bobby pin the hair. And then how I'm going to be creating my hair is I'm going to be taking a piece of extension that I'm going to be cutting it straight across. And there are two mistakes I made in this video. One mistake is creating the cat eyeliner too high up and the other mistake is the bangs. As you guys can see, I cut the bangs too far up. So the bangs were a little bit too short. And for the poof, I just bobby pinned another wig on top of my crown. And then I took two cotton mini pillows and then I wrap the wig over that so that's like my smart little idea and then there you go you have a big poof on your head easy right and then taking another piece of extension since these ones don't have clips I'm just gonna use bobby pins to hold them down like so and then taking the hair I'm just gonna be putting it over the poof to hide the other hair as you guys can see, the bangs are awfully horrible, so that's the mistake that I did, and just don't mind the bangs. If the, if the cat eye was a little bit lower and the bangs were a little bit longer, I would have gotten the look, but I didn't, so. Now you're finished! And that's how you get the Elvira look. John, pull down your bangs, you look ridiculous! Bye guys, follow me on my social media at John Lou on everything. Jelly.